Hey guys, welcome back to our which tutorial number should this be? I don't know. You know I can give you a number and then blame it on my old timers. Okay, I think it's the eighth tutorial. Welcome back to our eighth tutorial. And in our previous tutorial, previous two or three tutorials, we saw how to get records, single instance and multiple instances of our records and um we also so how to what else did you do okay whatever okay so today i'm going to show you how to filter your records okay so we can just go straight into our project there and then ehdbs got it all right so here and when we're going to generate our records next for our fake data I should just uh, let me see phone number is equal to phone number here. Let me correct that one first. Okay. Yes. No, not really. Let me just do it back to this phone number. Excellent. Okay. That one should generate our phone number. And uh Okay, let's see. We should be right here. We want to filter our records and uh, what we're going to do here, not the admin routes, we are the user's routes still. And just want to show you guys this one pretty first. Today, we, today we're not going to use the resource class for our routing. It is going to use the blueprint routes for those who fancy blueprints, okay? So I'm going to define another route here using our blueprints t now, today. So I'll, I'll just do add blueprint dot route, okay? And then here, I'm going to pass in a new route and I'm going to call it slash names because we want to filter by names today, okay? And then what we're going to pass here is our F name okay that's uh, that, that one is for first name okay and the only method uh, methods is equal to we are going to only do the get request okay and then here we are going to define names uh, we just define names okay and then here I'm going to pass in again the F name here, the first name that is F name, okay? And I just want to uh, filter my database straight away. Yeah, I'm going to filter my database straight away. And if you're wondering what's in our database, you can just do. Um, hold on a sec. Can you drop our database and generate a, a fresh one? Okay, for that I'll just pass in here first. I'll come back to that. So let me just RM and then, okay. I'll, I'll have to prepare my insomnia as well, my REST client. I already told you guys that we share several similarities with this REST client, insomnia, insomnia. Okay, RM, I'm going to remove uh, our database.sql3, this one over here okay clear okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to generate uh oh, oh i'm going to generate the data again yeah once more where are we let me see then the init file the double underscore init file here i'm going to enable my fake factory here and then mm, let me just do pip env shell to activate my virtual environment here and then i'm going to do python app.py or flask run should I handle that well oh wait a minute flask run okay that worked Okay, now back here. 
I'm going to make a request that's going to generate our data. If you can check from this other place, let's come back to the, our desktop and then there the HDBS and then inside our project folder. Come on, we don't even have the database yet. Let me generate it. So I'm going to make a call. There, okay, get request, clicking this link will give us that. But I'll give you time to generate. Come on, taking a while. Okay, creating the database and then generating our users table, then flashing in the 100 records. Yeah. Good. I think we're just there now. Just there now. Perfect. Okay, let me open this. And then you can just browse our data. Boom. And I already told you guys that these are fake number according to my database. Even if you see your record here, your phone number here, you just excuse me for today. Okay, for today. For the sake of this tutorial. But you see we have access here. Uh, this is more of an IP address. WT forgetting the last one should be an F okay all right so that's that yep looks complete today and mm, what we are going to do again today is to generate our okay to register a user so I'm going to do my official so that you guys can feel free to spam my email. Yep. And then here. My phone number is just okay. And my password is going to be this very complicated password. So I'm going to register this user. Boom response you ID number one one so that means that you have one one records and then mm, I'm going to get all the users yep yep that returns all the users plus the one just uh, that I just registered the one one you see here or I can just get a single instance of the record just one record one one should be the last ID hold on a sec Hold on a sec. What happened to that? What happened to that request? Jeez. Users 101. Can't serialize that. Let's come back here. What did I do again? When it works, don't touch it, guys. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. it should be at the routes, okay? It's our routes here, here. Got our routes, 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 routes. And then getting just a single instance of a record here is our route. And then here, boom. I need it here. Okay. I need to get single in instant there to jump clear plus run yeah try sending back that request again what a minute what a minute counting seconds counting seconds Counting multiple seconds. Jeez, something is. Oh, finally, back. Let me try one hundred. Good. One one again. Boom. 
record number one in our database there okay so that's working so today we are going to see how we can filter records here right here right now okay so i'm going to make a copy of this i'm going to duplicate this let me just do a control d and then here i'm going to say let me i'm going to rename this to um get user by name okay a little bit descriptive like that okay and then here you're going to go to into our route which we just want to implement right now straight away straight away names and then users and then names and then here we're going to provide the filter okay i'm going to provide the filter there so i'm going to filter by letter b okay so let me implement that functionality first that feature is a nice feature <laughs> Thing is going to be a feature. Whoa. Okay, so um, I'm going to say here that a user, okay, or just users, okay, is equal to database. No, db dot session. Yep. Dot query. I'm going to query here, okay, and what I'm going to query is just our user user table or user model model that is and then i'm going to filter dot filter okay so i'm going to filter again user dot first name okay and then like here i'm going to provide a a first name like and then here i'm going to provide my f name the f name that we are passing in the query slug in the url slug so i'm going to do uh, f name here f name plus okay so um i'm going to do f name plus and then here i'm just going to do a string percent percent sign okay do you know do you guys remember your sql something like select star from table name where var name like a with a percent sign do you guys remember that i'm not going to mention that here it's nearly the same thing that i have implemented just the same same thing except you're going to pass in the f name here it comes here then here eventually so it's going to be what we pass here plus the percentage sign which means like the wild card search okay how easy peasy sweet programming is like piece of cake okay now here we're just going to return let's return you remember our user schema user schema you can check that one from our previous tutorials what user schema is we're not going to talk about them anymore that gives me a latitude to command you back into <laughs> to watch our previous tutorial no lazing around no lazing around okay here we're going to return users user schema because we are dealing here with multiple records where main is is enabled so you're going to return user schema and then we're just going to jsonify okay dot jsonify what user users okay the variable that we just set up here within the scope of your grasp you yep. so let let's test this okay and i pretty much think that in our next tutorial we should start validating our api it still looks like an animal farm yeah so let's let's test, test this one first but first, I have to make sure that I restart my server to effect all these changes there. And then I'll come back here, user by name, B. Let me see what we have here. Bam, insomnia, give me back something. Give me back something. Give me back something. How long do I wait? 10 seconds. What? 
Okay, I'll be patient. There. Here's our query. Now we are filtered back to all the instances where the first name starts with letter B. Letter B here, letter B here. Okay. We could do an A still. Yes. There. All the A's are here. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Or we, we could do an... Or we could do B and R. There. Narrowing down again. I. There. Okay. There. C. C. Yes. That's how to implement it. Oh, we can actually check with our browser. Okay. So let's come here to slash users. We have all the users here. So all the users here. Okay, users and then names slash b. There are there. Hi, there. Nice filtering. A. Hey. There. Okay. Should be still the same. Same number of records. Okay. So you guys think that will match the end of this tutorial? Let me see. I can just package it and throw it right away to you guys. Actually, I should be broadcasting these things live. Yeah. I should be broadcasting them live on YouTube my channel i'll think about that so do we start validating our api in the next tutorial i'll show you several ways of validate, uh, validating this api either using our uh the va is it vanilla or what okay the, just the basic coding to validate your api or using other awesome stuff that we'll be talking about so you guys keep on tuned in check 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 i'll be dropping them as time goes and see you guys in my next tutorial okay not my hour i'm a little bit possessive sometimes let let's make it hours okay see you guys